Howdy guys, welcome to the video for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. My name is Vintus SGN. In this Tears of the Kingdom guide video, I'm going to show you how to build Link's house. Building Link's house in Tears of the Kingdom is a 1000% upgrade from what you could do in Zelda Breath of the Wild. In Tears of the Kingdom, you can literally build Link's house and arrange the rooms however you want with rooms ranging from pure decoration to in-game utility with amenities such as cooking, sleeping, praying, and horse boarding. Now before I get into how to create your perfect dream home, please subscribe to this channel for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom with notifications on, and after this video is over, head to my channel for more guides on things you may have missed or might be looking for. Alright, to start creating Link's dream home, you'll have to head to Terrytown and start and complete a side adventure called Madison's Independence. Now instead of boring you with the details so we can get right to the dream home quest, I'll tell you how to quickly deal with the side quest most annoying parts because most of this side quest adventure is just reading text. Just make sure you have at least 10 Sunderlines for one part of the quest as well as 50 rupees. For the actual dream home quest, you'll need 1500 rupees. So to start the side adventure, go and talk to Hudson and exhaust his dialogue in Terrytown until he leaves the area, so basically talk to him twice. After that, go and talk to his wife, Ronson. After you talk to her, go and find Madison, their daughter, and talk to her. Now I found her in her room. She tells you about some Gerudo test she has to take. I had to sit by a fire to advance time to the next day, and then I found her in the town square talking to more NPCs about Gerudo language. She needs to know the word for granny in Gerudo, and the word is Vaba, V-A-B-A. After that, the next thing that Madison will need is to take the rail car. This is where you'll need the 50 rupees when you talk to Ruli who stands by the rail car. The 50 rupees is to buy his green rock, which is a shrine rock that you will have to take to the shrine using the rail car to get down to the dig site and then craft the vehicle to transport the rock. I used the glider with balloons attached. You won't be able to continue unless you deliver the rock to the shrine. Now you don't have to complete the shrine, just deliver the rock to the shrine. Once you deliver the rock, head back to Madison, who will say she needs to take the rail car to get to her dad, but she has to sneak onto the rail car and can't do that unless Ruli's eyes are covered. All you have to do here is go to the other side of town, grab some materials, attach two planks together and bring them over to Ruli and build a wall in front of his face, and then go and talk to Madison and she sneaks onto the rail car with the cutscene. This is where the part comes in where you'll need the 10 Sunday lines because when Madison gets to Hudson, you talk to both of them and Hudson will send Madison on a quest to find 10 Sunday lines in which you can just say, hey, here are 10 Sunday lines right here, quest complete. Now, once you do that, a lot of dialogue will come with some cutscenes of Madison leaving for Gerudo Land. After you finish with all of that, though, go back to Terrytown and talk to Ronson, and she'll tell you about Dream Homes and start your quest to build Link's house. You'll need 1,500 rupees to start this quest. Once you pay the rupees, she'll tell you about a plot of land up near the Rasitakawak shrine and when you go there an NPC will meet you and you can start constructing your house. House construction is done by using Ultra Hand to move around different prefab prefabricated rooms. You get two prefab rooms at first and can spend money to get more. You're only allowed like 15 or 16 prefab rooms. There are rooms for weapons, shields, and bow stands so you can collect more than you're allowed to have in your inventory of each different type. There is a kitchen complete with a cook pot, a bedroom so you can sleep for free, and a prayer statue. If this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, I'd really appreciate your like on the video. For more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom guides and gameplay, please head over to my channel and check out my playlist for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. My name is Venice SGN. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.